Today we're going to go over the VAC Max E, and so we're going to go through the unboxing of the unit, and then just a few steps to get you guys started on the job site, also maintenance and things like that. So thanks for joining us. We'll get right into it. So the first thing that we'll come across here in the box, we got the vacuum here, but I'll pull out the hoses first. So we have a five foot hose. This is always a gray hose. So this is gonna come out of the vacuum, the top of the vacuum. We'll show you how to hook that up. And then this will go to your VacMax valve. The other hose that will be in here is actually a four foot hose, so one foot shorter. And this is gonna go from the toggle or your VacMax valve, I should call it. And this will go down to your pad. The other piece in the, in the box here is our 50 foot extension cord. Obviously this will plug into the house and then the other end will plug into your unit. We'll show you how to hook that up too. The main guts of the unit here is the last thing. Set that box aside. So your back max, pull the bag off. So you can see here we have the vacuum unit itself. We have a few instruction manuals to go with the vacuum as well as a spare filter. So when we first get it out of the box, what we want to do is we want to undo these three clips. Pull our cover off. Or we can get to our filter. And we want to make sure that everything's just inside of here. So we got our filter set up. There's no debris inside of there as well as the filter casing there. And that should be all set. So no, nothing else that we need to do in there other than as far as maintenance. Um, if this does get filled up with dirt and debris, it will reduce the vacuum airflow. So if we, uh, if we are noticing that there is any lack of vacuum pressure, we want to check our filter, replace it with that new filter, and then you should be good to go. So we'll pop that cover back on. So now that we've reviewed the filter here in the top section, we want to focus on the face of this vacuum unit. As you can see, we have a few different labels that they're purposely bright yellow for you to have as a warning. We want to make sure that when we're vacuuming down to a product that that is only for 30 seconds and then release that stone for 15 seconds to allow the cooling for the motor of the unit. So that it doesn't overheat and this will allow you to work all day. On the other side here too, we can see the caution label here that is all inclusive. And we want to make sure that you read that and make sure that you're using the unit properly. So the next thing we want to do with our vacuum is we want to get the power cord hooked up to the power unit. So we'll hook up the one end to the house. The other end, we're going to take our female end plug it into the vacuum unit, and that should give us power. One other thing that we want to make sure that we note, so that we don't have that power cord pulling out, what we want to do is we want to actually loop this through this tool, and then pull it back through this loop. So any tension that gets pulled on here, will pull on this clip, instead of pulling out your vacuum unit and not having to worry about any uh, vacuum failures due to the power cord pulling out. And in the operation of using this unit, we have the power switch right here. So you can see it there. When we push this down, this will create the vacuum. And when we uh, set it to the open circle there, that will be turning the vacuum off. So you'll only be turning on and off the vacuum when you first start up and then when you're done using the product. The next thing that we want to go over is we want to go over the harness system, how to get it set up on your back and comfortable and ready to operate. We want to make sure that we get the harness on our hips, tighten it down, and then tighten down our top straps here. So we want this to all fit comfortably for a good days of work. We can strap this across our chest here too and keep those straps from pulling off your shoulders. So now we got our vacuum unit on our back, ready to go. And then what we're gonna do is we're then gonna use our five foot hose, connect that into the hole of the vacuum, 
making sure that we have this 90 degree end in. And then the other end will then go into our VACMAX valve to be used with any piece of equipment, whether you're using the VME 1, 2, or 3 package. So thanks for joining us. We hope that uh, this was helpful so that you guys can understand how the vacuum works. And we'll catch you next time.